All right, you guys ready? So we're going to we're going to take this snake. Everybody's going to grab a piece of it. Okay, there we go. They are beautiful animals. I mean, they truly are. Might take me time to make some of you convince some of you of that. But all right, let's pull her all the way to the wall. Okay, so we're gonna get a tape. Do you want to hold that? Let's put it behind you. Okay. Got her. Okay, cool. I'll pull it tight. Yep. Pull that tight. Is pull that tight that way. All right, so. If you want to come and see this, this is a 17, 17 foot python. That's a tape. Actually, it's 17 one. And um, this is the longest snake that's come in on the study in four years. And to my knowledge, this is the longest documented Burmese python um, this side of State Road 29 in Collier. So she's a monster and um, a very impressive python by any stretch. Okay, so this great camera angle here. I mean, get her in her full glory. We're going to flip her over, you know, <laughs> flip her over. And then we're going to start the, all right, we got that. So do you want to write the length? Um, all right, so Jamie and Ian are going to start the necropsy. Yeah, you ready, Jamie? Roll her over. FD. Okay. This is going to take a little time, guys, so. Hang in there, bear with us, but we don't want to rush this. I'm going to do it right. So we're assuming a pretty good clutch of eggs right here. And while we're waiting, if you do have any questions, um, well, stop talking a little bit. Feel free to ask, but it's a good angle there, they're cutting. Feel free to get in there for some angles. It's the it's the longest we've got on the study. It's a 17 17 foot um, one inch female python, and she weighs 152 pounds. It's not the largest snake we've pulled on the project. the The biggest snake by mass ha was a uh, 16 foot 185 pound python. You had to see this thing to believe it. It was massive. It was full of eggs. Actually, these are eggs under the the TV over there get a shot of later. Those are filled with foam. Those eggs had hatched, or we caught them before they hatched. Go ahead, Jamie. Jump in when you... Sure. Um, Jump up there, Jamie, and help pull it apart. So uh, Jamie's a conservation associate here at the Conservancy, and Ian is a wildlife biologist, and they're part of the snake team. And so they're performing a necropsy on this 17-foot, 1-inch female Burmese python. We are um, going to get an egg count, a developing egg count, and then later they'll also take some samples um, from the stomach, and we can determine what this animal um, may have been eating, although it looks like a little bit of everything over the course of her life. A pretty impressive creature. We've developed a healthy dose of respect for these animals out there. And keep in mind, they're, they're not here from any fault of their own. They were released um, or escaped from the pet trade, and they found South Florida to their liking. And the, the ecosystem is not, uh, is not ready for a new giant snake in the system. The animals don't seem to have a, a defense against this. And um, we're witnessing the, the native wildlife, the greater Everglades, being turned into giant snake in real time. And so that's what you're seeing here today, this true scale of the problem. This is, this is very much not a trophy shot. This is an impact statement. We're putting all these animals out there just so you can see them all in one place. These are all females. They're all full of eggs. And these are a quarter of the females we brought in this breeding season alone. So they're just set all from Collier, not terribly far from here. Um, 
Don't be afraid. They're not interested in us. They're interested in our native wildlife for sure. You can only imagine what it took in pounds of native wildlife and types of species to um, make snakes of this size. It's a 17-foot python. There's two 15-foot pythons on the table, some 14-foot pythons and 13-foot class snakes. So they're making an incision along the belly. You can get in there with the camera. Um, there are some things you can't unsee, so be careful. But this is what we're dealing with, so we need to see it. So they're making an incision, then they're going to get through the fat layers. Um, I'm going to get them some paper towels for when it gets a little juicy. I'm going to put some paper towels here. I'm going to get another roll. Perfect. Take your time. Should I get a tray or are you just going to kind of expose it? Know. Okay. Yeah. Are they white? But there's still a bunch of them in there, right? Here they are. So what you're seeing here, don't get confused, and it's going to make a little more sense. There's fat bodies here. So this is the fat of the land. This is what they've assimilated from the native wildlife. And then underneath this will be the eggs that he's going to expose here in a minute. And we'll get a count. This, this animal might have a pretty high, I would imagine, pretty high egg count, maybe more than we've seen to date. And this is just one female of many. We really don't have a handle on how many of them are out there. Okay, they're still, on they're on their way. Wow, there's yeah. a lot of them. It goes all the way down here. <laughs> okay, take your time. There's a lot of them. Come on, come closer. Come on. They won't bite. <laughs> there's a whole unseat. These are eggs here. Yes, these are fat bodies. These, are, these would have all been future pythons this season. Look at them all. It's just, this is an egg-laying machine. Yikes. This, is, this may be the most we've, we've seen. We'll see. All right, so, yeah, we'll try to keep you guys from the Gallagher zone here. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yep. What side is that? The left over here? Okay. I'm gonna keep let it, I'm gonna be quiet while I count. Okay, so there's forty nine on the right side. Wow. Okay. So one more side to go. Yeah. This may be the Record-breaking egg-laden snake here for Collier, for sure. So this is going to air at dinner time, huh? <laughs> wow. Forty-three. Average clutch size we found for Collier is forty-three. So, over, over 90? I think that may, well, I think to 93 or 97, I'm not sure, may be the record on the East Coast. Um, that's not the point of this exercise here. So, this is by far the um, largest developing egg, developing egg mass here in college. What is that? These would have been two more? They just didn't drop in? Yeah. Would they have? Yeah, we won't count those. Wow. But like that, so, okay, so yeah, so these ones, maybe these wouldn't have pushed out. So do a, do a double count. Uh, we'll do a double count again before we put this animal, just to make sure. Fold, fold these eggs back in here for a nice photo moment. And then, um, yeah. So what's the, what's the official number? 90. 
95 eggs. By far, that this is the largest um, mass of eggs we've seen in Collier from a 17-foot female python. And so Ian's holding up, um, that, that's fat. That's a fat layer right there. Those aren't little eggs in here. These are the eggs developing. And um, these animals are remarkable when they get a prey item, um, how, how they can turn that into reserves. And this female was clearly eating very well in the off season to be able to put this much energy to her eggs and still have these fat reserves. So if this animal was not captured last week, um, in the next couple weeks she would have deposited all these eggs and she would have made a, a clutch and sort of a round mass and she would have coiled herself on top of those and incubated those for two months. And give or take a week or so around 4th of July, we tend to see the little baby pythons hatching out in Collier County and then they are unleashed into the ecosystem. Um, they do have predators. Alligators get after them quite well. Um, we do know that indigo snakes eat baby pythons. And then there's a host of other predators that we haven't officially documented yet. Um, but much like a baby alligator hatchling, before, before these animals reach um, apex predator size and status, they're vulnerable to other predators in the system. And then they turn the tide back against them. So you've heard of some of the, um, the mammal decline theories on the eastern Everglades. And um, you know some people are pointing the smoking gun at the Burmese python. The animals over here, we still find prey remains of um, raccoon, possum, rabbits, foxes, wading birds, deer. Um, I've seen alligator inside photos of pythons on here. On the east coast, some of their pythons that they're necropsying and looking in the stomach contents, there isn't much diversity of native wildlife showing up because they've probably eaten all of that wildlife so far. And if you, if you had told some of us biologists here that we would be tracking giant snakes 10 years ago, we would have thought you were crazy. And here they are. So there's a lesson here. This one is out of the bag. This Burmese python, is very much out of the bag, and it, there's a learning lesson here. What's next on the scene? Are they Argentine black and white tegus? Are they Nile monitors? Is it something yet? How many, 95? Yes, 95. Wow, and two are still not dropped into the? Don't open that, okay. So 90, <laughs> 95 developing eggs in a 17-foot, one-inch female Burmese python from Collier County.